Hello and welcome back to more Crusader Kings 2 with the Historical Immersion Project. So we had a pretty bad war last time that ended inconclusively when the person whose claim we were pressing died in battle. Uh, and in fact the county we had just granted him so we could press his claim um, was lost to us as well. Which is unfortunate, but I guess not a huge deal. We could, I think we automatically get a claim on it. Because it lost, left our realm. Yeah, okay. So we can take it back at any point. Uh, is it Svithyard that owns it now? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, good to know. Um, so yeah, um, I think what I'm going to do, since we lost that county perhaps, is put some of this money to use and build a barony over here that we can grant possibly to the next person whose claim we try to press and our grand hunt is over where also um, we got maimed let's not forget another unfortunate outcome uh, we're also plotting to kill the king here yeah in order to get a regency in so we can press some claims um, sure, let's bribe this guy. Not sure whether increasing it past 100%, but not past 200% actually helps us in any way, but may as well. Um, okay. We have another bishop for the blot. Jarl of Aberdeen. Do we own the land over here? Is the Thane of there? Oh. And his heir. Okay, it's also heir to the Jarldom of Aberdeen, so depending on what order people die in, it could go to them, I see. That's okay. We'll deal with it if it happens. Okay. One of the vassals. Well, one of our vassals is unhappy. Ah, uh, Snorri. Snorri, Snorri, Snorri. Pretty sure he already hated us, so that doesn't really do anything. like nobody else that wants to get on board. But we're over 100%, so it should fire at some point. And how old are you? Oh, you're almost of age. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, he claims he would be a better marshal. Nope, nope. I'm not firing a Jarl. can do, though, is commission a runestone. What should be carved into it? Um, I don't think my father had a runestone, so sure. Let's raise a runestone to the memory of my father. Uh, my mission has so far been a success. Well done. We we'll probably move him somewhere else now. Uh, is there another somewhat powerful vassal that isn't completely happy with me? You. Or better still, you. Um, sure. Where is this? The symbol is in kind of a weird place there. This one. Okay, improve diplomatic relations down there, please. Thank you. Uh, we're up to a 0.14% yearly chance to uh, convert this county. It's still basically zero. In memory of Sigurd. Sigurder, possibly. The rune stone you commissioned has been finished and raised on the spot you chose for it. You examine the runes. This stone was raised by Nud in memory of Sigurder, his father, and Nud's son. I think everyone in our lineage has been called Nud or Sigurder so far. 
Uh, he was a caring father and husband and lived a good life. Ever will stand this memorial. Okay, great. We gain lots of prestige, diplomacy, and general opinion. Good for us. Uh, has everybody been Sigurd or Nude? Yeah. I guess it's not been that many generations, so. It's not that remarkable. Um, okay. Do we have the King of Scotland over here set a special interest? No, we don't. Okay. It's probably just because Norway was involved. Hmm. I still don't understand why we can only press this county claim and not the uh, other claim from whoever it was that has it. Is it this one? Yeah. Do not know why we can't press that. guy is still our vassal, right? Or courtier. Yep. I just don't know. Um, range a marriage with my courtier. She only just turned 16. You didn't waste any time, do you? Sure, why not? Okay, plot has been leaked again, so he hates us even more than he already did, which was already the maximum amount, so that doesn't really do anything. Attempted murder, minus 600. Yep, that will do it, I suppose. On the other hand, he raised a runestone, so maybe he's not all bad. Uh, our steward died. Okay. Who to appoint? Or rather, whom to appoint? This guy. And... Sure, you can collect taxes for me. In the capital. Uh, Alright. Could press that claim, but... Honestly, she can probably do that herself. Um, the King of Norway, now known as the Fat. Okay. Fair enough. And definitely still can't declare that war, so... Could declare this county conquest, but yeah. Don't get out of bed for less than a duchy. Um... Yep, well done. She likes us better. And our son and heir has already managed to collect some terrible traits. Well, actually, pride's not terrible, but we'll uh, educate him ourselves. Make sure nothing too bad happens to him, hopefully. Somebody died, a natural death. No more grand hunts because of our maiming. Oh. King of Norway has contracted smallpox. How unfortunate. Alright, well, since we need to go to war, and it's not a huge penalty to not do it, but meh. It's kind of like a, a good roleplay thing to do, I suppose. Let's take this county back from Svithyard. Assuming we don't still have a truce. We don't. Actually, let's leave the retinue up here and use it to kill his army and hopefully end the war quickly. I'll take that back, please. Um, should we call him in? No, let's not. And raise, let's say, just our vassals' levies. You guys can 
head up here. You guys can stand down. Everyone who I didn't already select can rendezvous somewhere here, say. Or if no troops are going to get raised in this county, you can just start sieging already. In fact, that's probably enough to end there. We can just send the rest of you up here, just in case you're needed, which you almost certainly won't be. And we already won the siege there, wow. At least of the top holding. Who died? Guy. Oh, our newly appointed steward. Um, sure, Balder. You're hired. Collect me some taxes. Alright, let's go fight his army. There it is. Didn't actually take the time to appoint leaders, and we're missing a leader on the left there, but... Hopefully it should be okay. Indeed it was. Up to 61% war score from that, so... It shouldn't take too long. Okay. Gets us to 83. Um, not sure we'd get war score from them. But let's do it anyway. Ah, my heart missed a beat when I saw Sigurdur emerge from the dungeons covered in grime with a bloody knife in his hand. Oh dear. Um, okay. He gained wrath. Proud, gluttonous, and wrathful. It's not turning out great, is it? Alright, let's seize the capital. Unless he'll just give up right now. Nope. Of course he won't. Uh, word stood against word. The farmers against a courtier's about damage caused to the farmer's house by a cow owned by the courtier. Um, sure, compensate the farmer. Oh no. My possessed courtier was not happy. Oh well. Um, oh. Kill this army, please. Gets us to 93%. Come on, dude, it's just one county. Give it up. Hmm. Better disband that. Surely sieging his capital will do it. Oh. What was that? Alright, I guess we had a tiny army there. Let's kill this army. Okay, she likes us more. We're up to 97%. And a hundred. Thank you. I'll take that back. Uh, let's disband, disband, and come back here so you can disband. Imprison somebody. Who did we imprison? Did she get released? No? Oh, the princess. Nice. Um, eh, 
not really worth doing for 74 gold. I think I prefer the human sacrifice. Um, oh. Norway is going to war. Good for him, I suppose. You still did not have a child, eh? Okay. And it's blot time. The most wonderful time of the year. I can hardly wait. Uh, during a lively discussion with my friends and advisors on matters of the realm, my wife suddenly intruded on the, into the conversation to share her opinion. While she made a fair point, this sudden intrusion by a female certainly made the others uncomfortable. Ah, a good point, milady, wouldn't you agree? My wife will like us more, but a random courtier will dislike us? Or we can piss off our wife. Sure, let's make, her, make our wife like us more. Okay, cold somebody to arms. Now for the human sacrifice. Okay. Ooh, a tithe. Ooh, a prince archbishop. Wow. That's a good one. Um, Baldur is no longer the steward. Did he die? No, he's still there, and we can still appoint him steward. What was that about, Baldur? Get back to work. Uh, sure. And another. Oh, I don't think we sacrificed the princess. Unless she came of age. I didn't notice. No, we didn't. Oh well. Ugh. You and your antics. Okay. Feast is over. And everyone likes us better. I can't believe we still haven't killed this man. Any of these people remotely close to joining? Not really. Come on. Um, calling more people to arms, I guess. What is he trying to take? Uh, okay, my vassals are meeting. He's trying to take Brittany, apparently. Um, defending against it's a host. Conquest of conquest of Istrad Tiwi. Oh, that doesn't sound Brittany. Oh well, who cares? Um, are you having a revolt over here? Is that what's going on? Yep. For whose claim? Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, the King of Norway died under suspicious circumstances. Interesting. So this is Scotland now. Alright. And it's Norway again. My other son requires a guardian. Let's educate him ourselves as well. So honestly, our, our primary heir is not turning out great. And if he died, I wouldn't be too sad about it. Um, and slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Which you are not doing for some reason. It's just the worst. Okay. I think that's a princess that's in our dungeons. 
Um, books have always fascinated me. Sure, tell me more about the scholars. And oh, we have a reward for somebody's claim, hmm. which is not great, but you know, it's okay. It happens. A big splash and you fall into the mud. Damn it, if only it didn't rain this morning. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to take a stroll outside after all. You stand up trying to wipe the mud off your ruined clothes. So we can lose prestige. Um, and possibly gain humble. Hmm. Alright. Why don't we do that? And we did gain humble. From falling in the mud. Well... Uh, with that, I think I'll end this episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, and come back next time.